Hello guys, welcome back to Skyrim with Bantu. So as you see here, I have installed some mods, or actually really many mods, and all of them are actually graphical ones. So you see the grass looks different, trees should look a bit different too. Accidentally actually had two uh, tree mods that uh, added leaves, so it became a bit too fluffy, but I really like how these look right now. It do drag down your frames per second a bit, but uh, I think it's really great for what you are given. And I got this clear water also. But anyway, now we're gonna continue where the previous episode ended when we're heading out to White Run. So let's get here. Dragon's Reach. Where is that? That's the wrong one. White Run, of course. And right now I'm actually using my new uh, microphone, my Rode Procaster, so I hope that you might be able to kind of compare this to my old Blue Jetty, so normally I would record with my Blue Jetty. Oh, it's really, really rainy. Whoa, this town, White Run, you see, it looks totally, totally different than it used to look. Oh, thunderstorm. But I think we got a level. How did we... Or are we? Maybe we're exactly that we haven't got it to level yet. Yeah, we got a level. Level up. So we're gonna increase some health. Okay. What should we get more? Since we're using 200 weapons, we should probably upgrade this a bit more. 40% more damage. That's really nice. But I mean, look at this place. This place looks amazing with these mods. But it do drag down the performance a lot, and when you're recording, it drags down it even more because the game is made in DirectX 9 compared to if, if it would be made in DirectX 10 or DirectX 11, which will be using a lot less of your CPU. This really looks amazing. I like this look. I had a mod before with Skyrim in White Run, but then it was a lot more kind of like normal trees. These are more like pine trees. And I think this suits the town better. But it is really growing so... It's like a huge forest inside the city. It's growing more inside the city than outside the city. But let's get inside and talk to... I think we're gonna talk with the Jarl Balgruff again. So let's get inside to Dragon's Reach. We could actually have a quick travel directly here, but we got to see the town. I have forgotten that this place is actually named Dragon's Reach. Oh, if you check in my previous episode, this looks totally different. I have some interior lighting shadows. It's almost too yellow, I must say. But it looks kind of cool. I think those shadows look pretty nice. But this looks really, really, really yellow. Uh, hello. I serve Jarl Proventus Avenzini. Oh. So let's see. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to talk to this guy. It's really dark, we are all dark in the, with these mods. It's real hard to see. Yeah, the Dragonstone. So what about my reward? My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered it. So your information was correct after Oh there. <laughs> there was an uh, another guy, a girl, whatever it is. You went into the barrel and got that? Nice work. Getting invisible. I guess this is a girl. Are you a girl? You need to come at once. A yeah, I think so. You should come too. Okay. I follow you. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? Just going to sneak after him and maybe pick their pockets. And if you check in my previous episode with Skyrim, that the bug at that door when it was gonna solve that puzzle with the beer and that, those things, that was really freaking out. Oh, it's super dark. I don't know if I actually like this mod that it's making it so dark that you can barely see. It's super dark. What's up with this? Hello, Jarl Balgroth. Dragons. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. 
You've earned it. Irelet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. So that's the girl that and the guard that looks so she looks so evil. But, but that's just because her race. Don't fail me. Evil race. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my I want you to go with Irelef and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you... But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As... And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along he's looking really weird when he's like talking right into my ear at his side. Meet Irelef near the western watchtower. Yeah, I want to get out of this hell of place. It's way too dark. I'm probably gonna go through my mods and see if I should change some of that because I think it's way too dark inside here. It's like you can't see anything at all. But now we're gonna head out for the, the watchtower and meet up with that girl. I think it is Ir, Ir Milith something. I think it might be that an dark elf that was there before. I was saving. I'm gonna see if we can quick travel outside and probably get a bit faster. Right run stables. Oh, some nice chicken. I like to eat them. Tasty chicken. So, now we are outside again, so we should get to Western Watchtower and meet up with that that guy or girl, whatever it was that we was gonna meet. Eerie Millet something. So, let's get here. But this game, this looks amazing. I actually installed some other mods. I think that that little animal there belongs to it too. I actually have some beavers that I met when I was down at a uh, river. Those don't exist in the original Skyrim. And it's nice with some of those mods that actually add some animal life and all kinds of things to the game. That's awesome. So where is this girl or guy or whatever that I was going to meet here? Oh, are you invisible? Where are you? I don't know. Where is this person? Maybe I should just keep running down here. I mean, it indicates that I should be going there. If it isn't that place, it's really stupid made. Western Watchtower discovered. Maybe they haven't arrived yet, I was so fast with my quick travel, but I mean... They will arrive tomorrow! Oh, maybe it's that guy that's coming over there patrolling. Faster! Get here faster! I don't wanna wait. Maybe I should drag my bow and shoot him. Get here faster. Oh, what is that? It looks kinda like an eagle or something, but it looks like it's damn huge. So I guess it was them. Oh, dragon! Oh no, kill the dragon! Let's see. Oh, sweet! I have three arrows. I'm so prepared for this. <laughs> Let's get my arrow. It's real hard to hit some dragon though. Maybe she has to wait for him to come down. Hey, what you doing? Shooting you? Nice. Mm, Mir Mjolnir. Should probably wait for him to get closer so I can shoot him. Come here, dragon. Now I should probably get up my iron kick as battle axe. Or didn't I have it? Yeah. An ancient Nord battle axe. Hey, man. How do this feel? Do you like this? Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. Yes, I will. He's getting hurt pretty damn much, but I'm getting hurt too. That burns so much, I'm like fried bacon right now. Should probably get some... Uh, some potions here. I should probably install that. There's a mod that makes your inventory management a lot easier and it looks a lot better. I'm probably gonna install that. I, ha I have had that before. I think it makes it a lot better. The original one feels very much console and that was scary. No, I don't want the skill now. I want to use my potions. Damn it. Healing. Maybe go invisible in front of him. Venom. Oh, frostbite venom. Yeah, you're gonna get my venom on you. Yeah, we got him. This time I didn't get a fatality on him. The last time that I was killing this Mirmelnir, I actually got a fatality and he just jumped up and slammed his... I think I cut his head. 
I'm absorbing him like a Highlander. So let's loot here and see if there are something. Use the shouts section menu to equip the unrelenting force. Oh, he he have eaten some white run guards. Steel arrow arrow. Yeah, let's get his. I like that arm. Oh, this this one weighs so much. The shout. What did he say about it? Don't I have my like shouts here or something? Fortify, sneak, resist, frost, powers, battle cry, restoration, unrelenting force. I'm gonna push him. Can I do it? I guess I can't do my force. Maybe I have to I wait tomorrow. Dragonborn, what do you mean? I have no clue what it's meaning. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's, That's what, what I did, so I guess I'm Dragonborn. The dragon's power. I don't know There's what happened to me. To find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? A lot of legends going on. My grandfather used to tell stories Maybe I should do a shout. The Optional, the use your new shout power. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming yeah, back exactly now for the idiot. first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. And I should really you like... I need to raise my in-game uh, sound next time I record it. I have <laughs> really low sounds because it's the first time that I'm trying out to record this with my new uh, audio interface and with my microphone, so I'm not sure yet how high I should have my output to my headphones. You left. But I don't need some mythical dragon. Just take this and oh. someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand Housecard. Who's talking? Oh, it was this guy. Cross Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. Really yeah, it was clear a shout. If you don't shut up, I will shout you up. Yeah, back off. So what do we have now? D did we get any quest? Should we talk to her? This I'm taking your left, the maybe. Moment. You head back to Whiterun and let the Jarl know what happened. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? Yeah. So let's uh, get back to Whiterun, I think. We're actually all the way there. Can't I? Isn't that? Wasn't that the Dragon's Reach? I can't get here anymore. This is really weird. No, leave it. Oh, I guess I can go there right now. Fast travel. Yes. I want the slow travel. So we slayed our first dragon and back at the awesome place. But I really see how much you drag down your pitfall. Performance in this game. Oh, it's shaking. Sh shaking bacon. These trees, like I said, they really, really, really drag down your performance. If I remove these lush trees and stuff, I'm probably gonna have a lot higher. And what the hell was that? Did you see that red thing? What the hell was that? Maybe I need to upgrade my graphics driver. The reason I'm running these really old graphics drivers is because AMD refuses to fix their graphics driver to DirectX 9 all the way since they updated over 13.1. They screwed up the recording in DirectX 9 games. At least in yeah, like old games, it screwed up in this game, it screwed up in Dota 2. You get kind of like stuttering. It's not sure that you might notice it if you're running a 60 hertz screen, but you're running a 120 hertz screen, you will notice it is. And even though you're really high in frames, the game looks all stuttery for no reason. I don't get what's the problem with it, and they haven't solved it for about one year now, so I have little hope for them to solve it. I have written to them, but we will see. 
Hello, Jal Balgraf. This is a big guy. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yes, slayed him. The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Who I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Turns out there might be something called the Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon di died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slope. That was the guy that was screaming at me when I got to the city, probably. What do these grey beards want with the me? The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune. But I really need to raise my in-game voice for the next video. I can barely hear him at all, it's really annoying. In this game you won't hear what they are actually saying, I would say. But that's... there's that annoying prevent this guy again. I don't like him. That was the voice of the greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. Yeah, wrong guy. He looks Sensors, awesome. At least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Atmora. Ranga, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... What? Hey. Dragon Ball. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant... These are our sacred traditions that go back to the foundation. Exactly. He don't know how we Nords are. Don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. It's like he's whispering to me. <laughs> you guys probably not gonna hear that this low in the video because I'm gonna fix it, but you know, I didn't hear this, so if you're wondering why I'm acting real weird to the response of these guys, that's the reason. It's annoying. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful... His lip-sync is kind of out of sync, I must say. <laughs> it's not matching him at all. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great serve by my right as Jarl. Complete a dragon today. rising. I assign you Lydia. Oh, Lydia, the girl that blocks you in the door is awesome. We Give me her. To have you as Thane of our city, Dragon. Back to business, Proventus. Yeah, get back to business. To yes, my lord. Haha, <laughs> have fun. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yeah, thank you. So guys, this is gonna be it for today's episode and next time I'm not gonna have this real low audio for myself when I'm playing in the game. It's really, really annoying. But guys, thanks for watching this. If you like this video, if you like me slaying this dragon, go leave a thumbs up. It helps me very much. And if you want to see more of Skyrim or other games like Age of Kona, which I post too, please subscribe to me for a lot of new content coming. So guys, take care. This is Banto. Cheers, goodbye, take care.